Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And today we're here with episode number four of Noob with a Mill. Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And today we're here with episode four of Worthless to Wall Street. If you guys are not aware of the way the series works, basically a long time ago, or not really that long ago, I gave this account one GP and we went to the Grand Exchange to see what we could do. And we've made a lot of progress since then. So obviously more than this under 26K, as you guys can see down here, that is what we have going on currently. The first merch of the video, actually one of the best merches of the series, as you guys can see, we bought Black Dragon Leather for three, three, four, or five each as you guys can see a total of 20 mil pretty much and 70k and then we went ahead and sold them on for 21.5 mil making us about 1.5 mil which is insane this did take a while to do i haven't been on this account in about a day but i think that that was definitely worth it that was also my phone so don't check so here's a merch we ended up doing we have a monk robes top g selling on for oh god okay so i'll stop trying to say it i know i know it triggers people selling on buying on i don't know why i say it but you know it happens Anyways, we had this Monk Robe Top G that went ahead and sold for 4.6 mil. And uh, as you guys can see, if I go back to history, we bought it for four. So that's a 600k profit. Pretty lit, I'd say. Uh, the Mithril Bars, you can see, there's a 27 GP margin on. And I ended up selling off 3,000. So, you know, like an 80k profit. I'll see what I can sell the rest of these on for. Sell the rest of these on for, huh? Does that trigger you guys too? Does that send to do it as well? I'm not really sure. Let me know. I need to know my uh, my boundaries with this. It's still 800 and they didn't all sell on over. Oh God, bro. I say it so much. All right, 799, we'll see if they sell. And uh, yeah, then we'll get going. Oh, I was gonna say, I was like, where's all my money at? Uh, Derek Great Axis didn't end up buying. So there's that. All right, so we've had a lot of good merches thus far. It's been a pretty good, uh, pretty good episode. I'll go ahead and talk about what I've done. This was on stream last night. I bought about a little over 5,000, almost 6,000 D-bones, and I was able to sell them on for about a 60 GP margin each. So that was about 600 or 360K profit in total. Then I found Wyvern Bones, and basically not a whole lot going on with them. However, now there is. Pretty much I bought all of these for around 2520 You'd say the average would be, I would imagine. And if we go ahead and buy one, basically, I can now sell them on for 2600 which means I make about 80 GP per one, which comes out to about 640 K, which isn't too bad. Um, I honestly thought I could sell these on for more, and I may actually even try to somewhere around here. That'd be 110 GP margin per, making me close to a mil. So I think I'm going to go with that. Eternal Glories have a really good margin. Actually, Obsidian Legs, if I'm not mistaken, have a really good one. Um... I'm going to go ahead and try to see what they are. Let's go ahead and uh, buy and sell one, I guess. Jesus Christ, my misclicks right now. But apparently, they have a really good margin. They sell really quick, which makes sense, I guess. They're really good legs for low levels. So uh, let's go ahead and buy and sell one. Um, one's not even buying for 917k. And apparently, I can buy them uh, for about 730 So I think that that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I think that sounds definitely like the play to make. So... Uh, if I can sell these on for like 170k profit per one, obviously I'm gonna do that. So that's what we're up to right now. And there we go, sold off all the D bones for 2630, 110-ish GP margin on them. So really good stuff there, up to 23.7 mil. And here we are with another merch. So as you guys can see, went ahead and sold off all those prayer potions for 15 mil pretty much. I bought them all for 14.637. So in total made like 360, 370k off that. Not too shabby at all. I guess I still have another thousand or so in profit in the uh, vials. But there we go. Up to a little over 24 mil. Um, apparently this new ore has a decent margin. It's like a day after it's been released almost. Uh, but apparently not too shabby. So 5349 is what I'm seeing, and if I go ahead and sell it, what can we sell it on for? Oh god, I said sold on. Can you guys believe that? Get roasted some more, right? Alright, so I'll try to buy like 2,000. I think these are going to go down, so I'm not going to try to buy that many. And here we go, sold off some Rings of Suffering. There was uh, a little bit of merch here. Uh, these bolt tips, <laughs> they seem like a good idea. If I would have put them together, I actually would have made a decent amount of money, but I didn't have the fletching level on this account, so only made 8k there. However, this, we ended up buying them all for 16.8, and we sold them off for 1760k, so like 250k profit, not too shabby. 
Here we are back again, gonna go ahead and show what I did. So basically, we got some Amon Thice, I think that's how you say it, bolt tips. We made about 12 GP on each of them, so I mean a little, like two, not even, not even 200k profit, but there's just a little bit. So a couple small little merches here. Um, we did have some Wyvern Bones. Oh my god, bro, this, this is pissing me off. All right, so we'll start this from the top. There's been a lot of merchs I've done. They've just been small though. They haven't been big enough to record, I don't think. Basically, I lost 270K trying to find Tacit's margin. I ended up pretty much making it back in total right here in these two flips, I lost 60K. And then I made 220 on that. So that's 160K profit. Um, on top of that, Necklace of Anguish, I was checking the margin, lost 35k there. Then Wyvern Bones, you guys can see, bought 1.5k for 3.8 mil, sold mine for 3.956, 150k profit there. And I just went ahead and bought and then and just sold some prayer potions because I found a better margin while I was buying and selling some stuff on my main. Obviously lost a few GP there, but nothing too uh, big to worry about, I would imagine. But I ended up just selling on a Toxic Staff on my main account because I just got done doing some DKs and sold for 6411, so I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, pay a little higher because I'm uh <laughs> I'm a scumbag but we'll do that and apparently I could sell these on for like a 220k profit so we'll see how that goes um there's about 9 to 20 bought and sold an hour so it shouldn't take too long all right so not a lot going on but we had some onyx bolts that actually made a little bit of money I mean the margin that we ended up getting on these averaged out to about 200 gp per bolt um in total 500 bolts so it's a little over 100k but then overnight we lost <laughs> 400k on an arcane prayer scroll and then we've been buying some zamoraki and spears so far we ended up buying one and selling it on for a hundred almost 200k profit i guess um and now we have another three bought trying to sell them on if i can sell them on this definitely gets us out of the hole right now we're still 100k down on the arcane however this could be what puts us over the top as i would go ahead and probably make 170k per one which i mean you know a little over 500k bring us 400k up i'm trying to and here we are, so you guys may be like, I made money. Well, I was buying that for a friend, but I actually did not make money. As you guys can see earlier, I did buy the Zami Spears for 6.7 mil each and ended up selling them on for 160K loss each, coming out at about a 500K loss and bring us down, well, I think we're still at 24 mil, but we're not as close to 25 as we were before. Back again with another merch. I know I've been struggling of late, but this one actually pretty decent, as you guys can see. We bought pretty much all the Dragon Dark tips. They were slow buying for a lot of different prices, but on average around 350 or 3,530, and I sold them on for about, or sorry, I sold them for about 105 uh, GP profit per one, selling 600 or 6,348 means I probably made almost close to 700k, so not too shabby, and we're about to hit the 25 mil mark yet again. And another little merch, so I ended up buying and selling 2.8 thousand battle staffs for like a 32 GP margin, so almost 90k I guess, so nice little quick thing. And here we are, so Mahogany Planks later on, I ended up buying... 10.5 thousand for 21.6 mil and as you guys can see I end up selling them on like three less for uh, 22 point well 22 mil pretty much so about 430k profit not bad all right so here we are with a bit of a merch as you guys can see I sold 550 eclectics for a little over 100 GP profit so that's 55k or so and then 8,000 for 70 GP profit which is about yeah, 610k or so in total, so not too shabby. I'm going to go ahead and exit these offers and go ahead and collect, and we are up to 26 mil. Let's go. Back again with another merch. This one's a pretty sick one. I'm not going to lie. I don't, <laughs> I didn't think it'd be this good, but it ended up being really fucking good. So as you guys can see, uh, 11,000 wines of Zamrock pretty much bought for 19.8 mil. And then if I go ahead and show you guys what they sold for, Look at that, <laughs> 21 mil pretty much. So that's 1.2 mil profit. We're up to 27.2 mil. So not too shabby. Let's see what else we can do. And now we ended up doing a little bit of a Wyvern Bone merch. Now, as you guys can see, I sold them on for 2675 and I bought them all for 2618. So about 60 GP margin each, which isn't too bad at all. As you guys can see, 20 mil and 62K. And then I bought them all for 19.6. So about a 400K profit. Not too shabby. And here we are with the last merch of the video. So as you guys can see, 2000 Sarah Doman Brews I sold on for 6160 pretty much. And 
and I bought them all for 6033, which means I made about 130 GP on each one, making them about 260K in total. Now, if we go ahead and collect that, you guys can see that I'm up to 14.3, and then if we go ahead and add that for what I bought the third age mage hat for, which was 13.8, we get that I am up to 28.1 mil, which is not too bad at all. This is what we got going on. So, that will be it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. If there's anything you guys want to see in the future, make sure to comment it down below. If you guys enjoy my content, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I also have a Twitch link in the description down below, so feel free to hit that up. Twitter as well. But with that said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and peace. If you guys enjoyed the video, I want to hit... If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit...